Hello, I will be demonstrating what a walk test is and how it works. So every fire alarm control panel, every modern one, can do a walk test. Now, with firelight panels, they're basically all the same. You would enter, you go into programming mode, you enter the passcode. I believe even a maintenance level password can take this into walk test mode. So, And a trouble will begin flashing on the system. A trouble will be on the system. Yeah. Now we're going to go down to walk tests by pressing 2. There are two different types of walk tests, a silent and audible walk test. Now with a silent walk test, it does not sound the notification appliances. Whereas an audible walk test will sound the notification appliances after every device has been activated. Now, when it sounds the notification appliances, it just sounds them for a few seconds after every device. And some systems will sound them based off of the device's address. So, if I were to activate, like, pulse station number four, with a point of four, it will uh, cause them to pulse, the notification appliances to pulse four times. So... And both of these store the uh, walk test information. So let me go in and see something here. Okay. Right. Now, if you were to press 3, you can hit view results, and this will show you the devices that have been activated in the previous walk test. Now, even if you were to reset the system, that it's all the activated devices is still stored in the view result. So I'm going to do an audible walk test. So, there are three options here. View walk test log, view points, and view summary. Let me start with view summary. This shows all of the devices. So, I have two pull stations, which is coming up as the monitor module, MOD, and then two detectors, which is coming up as the detector. So, if I were to activate one of the pull stations, it would say tested, and then one. Okay? One is not the device's address, it is just the amount of monitor modules that have been tested. So if I were to test both smoke detectors, it would come up as two tested, zero untested. So let me go ahead and go back. If I were to go to view points, this shows all of the untested devices. So this shows the one that are uh, have not been tested. And if I were to go to view walk test log, nothing is in history because I have not tested any devices, but it would show you all the tested devices. Now, once you leave walk test mode, all of this is erased from the memory. But you can still go to view a result to view all the tested devices. But it does not tell you. Let me try something here. Two. Oh yeah, I was trying to view the previous walk test, but I, um. Once you go into another walk test, it erases everything in that. But like I was saying, so if I were to do a walk test right now, either one of these, it would save everything in this, the view result log, even after it's the panel has been reset. But once you go into another walk test, it erases it from that memory, so that log. So I'm going to go ahead and do an audible walk test. So I'm going to uh, activate two devices and then show you, uh, you know, how it works. So I'm going to go over here. To my pull station and you can see the announcer right here showing the same information so this one is monitor module 4 and it is listed as front entrance zone 1 so I'm gonna go ahead and with, with the walk test mode a lot of people just kind of flip the switch or key activate it if it's like a simplex t-bar or a firelight bg8 because it's less time consuming than pulling in and opening it but So what will happen is they will sound for a few seconds and it will flash an alarm, then it will stop. So let me go ahead and go back over here with my key right there. I'm going to go to the walk test log. And the only device that is in here is that pull station in the front entrance in zone one. If we were to go to view points, 
you can see now there's only three untested points and it will show all the untested devices so if I were to go to view summary you will notice that one of the pool stations is now listed as tested and the other one is still listed as untested so now I'm going to go ahead and test the smoke detector alright so I've tested the smoke detector and click the screen if you want to see the video of me testing it I tested it using smoke detector spray alright so let's go ahead and view the summary you can see now how one of the untested smoke detectors is now just tested so if we go to view walk test log it should be the one by the front entrance that's the pull station and they I'll go down there you go front entrance smoke detector so there should be two untested points the pull station and smoke detector in the rear zone smoke detector pull station those are the two untested points and then you know those are the untested ones that I was talking about so there's that so let me go and exit out of this walk test mode let me make sure the pull station is reset okay everything's good so see where it says unit and walk test I'm gonna hit escape and it now just says walk test so I'm gonna go back to that audible walk test I was in and view the summary and everything's back to normal two untested there are four untested points and there's no vents so everything resets now if I were to go to view result Looks like nothing's there, so that's weird. I'm going to go and do an audible walk test. And then let's go pull the pull station and see what happens here. I guess I was wrong. Let me get the key. So, as you can see, there is one device tested, the pull station, so I'm going to go back, exit out, probably the same thing, view result, there it goes. So yeah, now it's showing, it'll get in. I'll, I was wondering why I didn't do that, so yeah, it's working now, so and if I exit out of this, and then I'll go back into walk test mode, it just still be there, and it will be there even if I reset the system, so let me go ahead and just exit out everything it's going to save everything it takes forever to initialize initialize oh. I can never forget what that little dot right there was it does that on the enunciator also Cedar. Sometimes there will be two dots right there, so it's just kind of weird. Oh yeah, so now let's go back and walk, walk to Simone and see if that if the results are still there. Like I said, they should be programming. It'll be say trouble again. We're gonna go down to walk test. View result, and yes, it's still there. Still pull station. Now, if I were to go into another walk test, and then exit out and go back, nothing's going to come up. So yeah, nothing will come up once I go into another walk test. And then, and that new walk test, if I were to test the device, it would be in the log, the uh, you know the permanent log right there. So, so yeah, that's how you do a walk test. Thanks for watching.